Hello friends, this video on Organic Chemistry Basic Part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's do some more practice and try to uh, name these uh, alicyclic compounds. So this is benzene and 1, 2, 3, 4. That is, this is propyl, right? With it pro, right? 1, 1, 2, 3 carbons, propyl. And the benzene, this is very easy, this is propyl benzene. Correct? So in benzene, you have added a propyl alkyl group. Let's take this one. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4 carbon. In fact, 5 carbon. Right? So we have 5 carbon here. This is a nitrile group. So this will be given priority 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Right? Functional group should get the least possible number. We'll start the naming from here. So this becomes at 3 we have methyl, so this is 3 methyl is the prefix. We have 5, so it's pent all single bonds, so in is nitrile group, so it's nitrile. So this is 3 methyl pent nitrile. Let's see this. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. The longest chain is 7. We can name uh, in this fashion or in this fashion, let's try this. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. If you name in this fashion, it becomes 2 plus 5, that is 7. If you name in this fashion, this becomes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 3 plus 6, that is 9, right? So in this case, it is 2 plus 5, 7. In other case, it is 3 plus 6, that is 9. So we will not take this, we will take this only. So this becomes at 2 and 5, we have methyl group. So it is 2, 5, dimethyl and you have 7, so hept, all single bond, in. This is 2, 5, dimethyl, heptane, correct. Now let's name this, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 or you can name in this fashion also but if you name in this fashion, your, uh, the functional group gets the, the lower number actually, right. So this is a better uh, numbering. So we have 3 chloro and 3 bromo. Which one will come first? Bromo, right? Because B comes be uh, before C. This is bromo. This is chloro. So we'll say this has 3 bromo. Alphabetical order. 3 chloro. And you have uh, 7. So hept. All single bond. In. 3 bromo, 3 chloro, heptane. Let's take this for example. So we have COH group that is my functional group. So that will get the higher priority. Right. So this will become 1, sorry, 1, 2 and 3. Correct. This is C here, carbon here. So this will be 3 chloro is my prefix. Then I have 3 carbon here. So that becomes meth eth pro and all single bond in and this is uh, aldehyde, so Al, so 3 chloropropanol. Let's take this guy, Cl, uh, Cl2, CH, CH2, OH. So let me draw this, this is 1 carbon, 1 chlorine, 1 chlorine, 1 hydrogen, then I have 2 hydrogen here and watch. So what is my functional group here? Alcohol, based on the priority, because alcohol is more uh, uh, in the top priority than uh, if you compare it with chlorine. So this will be, uh, I have two prefix and I'll give this number one, this guy is number two, because I want to minimize the alcohol group. So there are two chlorine attached to carbon two, so it will become two two di chloro. Then I have two carbon, so meth it all single bond in and alcohol OL. So it is 2 to dichloroethanol. Let's do some more practice. Let's name this compound. So we have let's find the longest chain. So longest chain will be this guy. This carbon to this carbon. How many carbon? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We can name this from this side also, this side also, let's name both the side. So let's name here 1, 2, 3, 
over 5 is one way and it's in other way also so here if it will be in red 1 2 3 4 5 correct so in both case my first is my aldehyde group that's okay now let's see the alkene group so if i take green alkene group come with 2 if i take red alkene group come with 3 so i'll not take red i'll take green only correct see if i take red alkene groups comes in two position if i take green the alkene group comes in second position so that is better so i'll take this scenario so this is my numbering so i have five alcohol five uh, carbon so there is no uh, prefix here so i'll start with pent and at second position i have uh, in so pent two in and at one and five position i have two aldehyde groups so it will be one five sorry one and five i have two aldehyde so diol this will be my name compound pent two in one five diol let's name this compound so let's find the longest chain so i believe this is my longest chain four carbon you can name from either side doesn't matter let's let me name from this side one two three four if you name from this side also it's all same because in both case one will be the nitrile group and there is no double bond here so let's name this only there is no prefix here because there is no branch so let's start with a uh, four carbon so it's butte all single bond in at one and four i have nitrile right so one and four dinitrile let's try to name this compound let's find the longest chain of carbon so this is my longest chain of carbon so I can name in this uh, two fashion, one, two, three, four, or I can also name in the other way around. That is one, two, three, four. So if I take the green ones, so if I take the green ones, then my uh, methyl group that is here extra comes in two. If I take the red ones, it comes in three. So green one is better. So in both the case at one position I have my uh, amine group right but if you take this one the red ones the methyl group comes at 3 if you take green one the methyl group comes at 2 so we'll take this pattern now so here we have a prefix that is 2 methyl so it will be 2 methyl then we have 1 2 3 4 that is butte all single bond in and then I have 1 at 4, I have amine. So it's 1, 4 diamine. That is the name of this compound. Let's try to name this compound. The longest chain is my, this is my longest chain. Right, it has all these groups. Now, this ketone is my primary one because it has alcohol and ketone both. So ketone is more priority. So we will try to give the minimum number to this. So we have to number in this pattern, right? We can't number from left to right. We can't number one, two, three, four, because in that case, ketone will get three numbers. So we have to give the least number. So this is my best possible way of numbering. Now let's start. Do I have a prefix? Yes. At three, I have a methyl group and also three, I have hydroxy group. So at between hydroxy and methyl, which one comes first? Let me see this. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H comes first. So hydroxy will come first. So it will be 3 hydroxy for this. 3 methyl is my prefix. 1, 2, 3, 4. So butte. All single bond in. And at second position, I have ketone. 2 bond. So that is my name of this. Let's try to name this compound. The longest chain will be my this straight chain. I have two ways of numbering it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Or I can number in this fashion. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. In both the cases, if you see I am getting the halogen uh, functional group at 1 and 5 position. So in this also 1 plus 5 is equal to 6. Here also my functional is at 5 and 1 position. So it is 5 plus 1 is equal to 6. 
so what to do now so now i have a bromo and i do right which one come first a b this is b this come first this has more priority so bromo gate group should get lower number so bromo gate group should get one number that means this one is wrong correct bromo group should get lower number so what is the number uh, what is the name of this it has to fix yes one bromine is added so one bromo at fifth one iodine is added five iodo and then there are five carbon so pent all single bond in this is the name of this compound let's name this compound so the longest chain is this guy so since aldehyde group and i have uh, is so i have aldehyde group here uh, so they, this is more priority so this will be number 1 this will be number 2 and this will be number 3 so let me name this so at two position i have methoxy so it will be 2 methoxy is my prefix then 1 to 3 carbon that is pro all single bond an and aldehyde here so two methoxy propanol is the name let's try to name this compound so this is my longest chain with double bond and carboxy group also so this will be 1 2 and 3 why because this carboxy group is the highest priority it should be given 1 2 and 3 correct so let me name this guy so this is methyl first here this will be methyl and then we'll name this guy right this whole chain here so this is in this chain i have one uh, methyl group so there will be prefix here that is 2 methyl there are three carbons pro at second position i have double bond two in and since this carboxy group it will be oh wait right methyl two methyl pro two in oh wait correct let's name this compound so you see this is the longest chain of carbon i have these are three carboxylic acids group attached they are very high priority so i can name them 1 2 3 4 1 to 3 in this fashion so let's see which one is better so in this case both are exactly same doesn't matter so let me take this guy only because in both case i get a 2 oh group both are almost same doesn't matter so let's take this guy so now if you see at second i have hydroxy so it is 2 hydroxy and then i have propene and then i have at three positions 1 2 and 3 i have what carbox tricarboxylic acid so since it is carboxylic acid so i have to write this in last two hydroxy was the prefix this was the root this is the suffix and this is secondary suffix correct thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again